All right, Shalom, Brother Kasha Kala coming back at you with another lesson. Giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Achakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone to rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first root. I got the definition of the word purpose on a simple Google ser uh, search. It means the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. It says, um, have as one's intention or objective. The reason why I'm bringing this out, um, the word purpose, is because as a man, we are all programmed and hardwired uh, to have a spirit of purpose with inside of us. Now, being a man, that spirit of purpose has to be exercised. All right. So you have to find out what your purpose is. I know a lot of brothers say, you know, you have to you know, play your role that you've been given, which sometimes for, uh, you know, a man that may not have the understanding of what they're saying yet could be sort of cliche to him. Now, pretty much. Here, when you're when you start to actually sit back and meditate on your purpose then you'll finally know what roles uh you should be fulfilling you know or the role that you're in what you should be doing but you got to figure out and exercise that spirit of purpose that is already hardwired into us now the good thing about having the spirit of purpose inside of you as a man is that only you can mold and craft that so it's very personalized you see what i'm saying you can um you know upgrade it and you know whatever as such to your liking that's adequate you know and i will say this since it's so customizable because the lord has designated a purpose for each and every uh man on the earth since it's so you know personalized you can end up making wrong decisions and then you, now you're back to square one man then what's really my purpose so matter of fact i'm gonna bring out a precept to uh i'm gonna get what is that first corinthians 3 i want to say the master builder you know it says uh first corinthians I'll start at nine. First Corinthians three nine. For we are laborers together with the Most High. Ye are the Most High's husbandry. Ye are the Most High's building. Right. So you had a purpose. The Lord gave you that purpose of what you're supposed to be doing. You are His husbandry. All right. He has created you. Just like the scriptures talk about the, the potter's clay and things of that nature. He's created you to serve your purpose. Now we all know. At the end of the day, or the generalized, broad spectrum purpose is what's written in Ecclesiastes, um, the last chapter. It says, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man, which is that is your purpose on earth, to be in servitude and have, be in and give and be a service to the Lord. Now, within that purpose, since we understand this whole matter right here, you have to find the intricacies, if that is a word, to the purpose that you are given. We know the broad spectrum. You serve the Lord and fear Him. And I'm not saying that in a sense of, like, you know, waving it off. Now, that's very important. But there you have your perspective roles, because, like you said, there's, there's levels to to everything and there's levels to each and every man's purpose you just have to pinpoint yours that's how you will finally understand your role and it may take time for you to understand what purpose what your purpose is what the lord really put you on earth to do you know or what your real mission is or what you're really working towards but as a man you have to find that purpose now a man's purpose is something that a woman will never understand ever Never understand. A woman will never understand a man's purpose. Well, there's one thing I will say too. Whenever in a relationship, in relationships wise, if there's a man who can't seem to find his purpose, that's when you tend to see a woman leave. Because they'll, they'll, you know, feel a woman, because women are very premeditated as creatures. They premeditate a lot. 
They want to see what you're about. You know what I'm saying? They're very complex, but simple ass creatures at the same time. They're stupid as hell, but they're complex. And they will sit and wait to see what your purpose is. And if they can't see or visualize that you have any, they'll end up leaving. So it's your, especially if you're in a relationship or anything, or you have a woman, you should know the purpose and you should be, you know, driving towards that purpose. She may not understand your movements or anything because she will never understand. But for her perspective of what she thinks she understands, if you don't have a purpose, because if she thinks that she doesn't see you as an adequate fit in her life. So it's the same thing if you ever feeling stagnant or if you ever feeling like, damn, man, I don't know what the fuck, you know, just stuck. It's because you haven't deep, you know, dug deep down inside to understand really what your purpose is as a man. And like I was saying in the inception of the video, every man's purpose ain't the same. Yours can be different from another brother and another brother and another brother. But you have to find yours in particular and be your own master builder. Of course, following the spirit of your how about me, I was shy. Like I said, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 is the main purpose of us. But then there falls details, intricate details within that to in each personal life of a brother. That's why it's so personalized. All right. So going back, it says what? <clears throat> Verse 10 it says, according to the grace of the Most High, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation. Now, the Lord has laid your foundation as a man. And your purpose, that's the foundation that you build off of. That's why I said again in the exception of this lesson, you got to be careful how you build, uh, how you direct, you know, find your purpose. Because you can make wrong moves. You really can. You have to stick to the blueprint. Stick to the general idea of what you see here. Don't get me wrong. You can't just be cooped up in your house and just watching videos. and da -da. Well, hey. What's the point of having wisdom if you're not exercising the wisdom? It's really not wisdom. Wisdom, it has, to be, it has to be done. In order to find your purpose, you have to put it in action. Okay? Well, you got wisdom on how to... You got wisdom on the herbs. Well, okay, cool. Or you got knowledge on the herbs. Okay, cool. Well, how do you turn that into wisdom? By actually putting it in... Making it manifest. You may open up a shop with you know, herbs or, you know, a side hustle or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just figure out a purpose that you want to, you know, achieve. And it doesn't even have to be you selling something or you, you know, what, you know, is coming up with a business idea. It could just be you getting your shit together in your own life. You see, going after getting a house or you know, getting the apartment, getting out of your, your parents' crib or something, or getting a car that you wanted, or being financially stable and comfortable, you could say, you know, uh, therefore, say if that is your purpose to be a better you, therefore, you can be a better crutch to others. You see how it works? That was your purpose, to get your shit together so you can be a help towards others. That's a purpose. Or you putting you having the knowledge in something and actually on the other hand grand scheme making money off of it and being an asset and being you know what you could say well I, yeah an asset to a brother who may need herbs but i don't want to go buy it from esau when i can just get it from you that is, that that's a, that's a purpose you have become an herbologist to brethren out there and you can provide them with the things that they need simple you got some brothers who make soaps. And I'm not saying that's their only purpose because there's multiple purposes. But you have to find something in yourself. If you're ever feeling stagnant, you have to examine yourself. And figure out what the purpose is. And build on it. Now at the end all, be all, your purpose should, all of that should, the credence all go back to the Lord. Which will keep you under the stead of Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Going back, 1 Corinthians 3 and 10, according to the grace of the Most High, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another build if they're, uh, they're on. Right. The Lord laid, laid the foundation and now you're building on the foundation that he had provided you. It's just like the parable of the talents. OK, he gave you the talent. Which is from him, which is a loan. All right. He loaned you a talent. It's kind of like um 
a short when you go into uh, what is that stocks? I think it's a short, but pretty much what it is, you get a a, a free share or whatever from the borrower. So pretty much, okay, cool. I got quote unquote a loan or a free stock from uh, the borrower or whatever or the you know the lender. Okay, cool. I got that. Now you owe the lender. Say the, the um. What is it? So you got that for free. Say the uh, stock went down or whatever, and you buy, and you buy a stock. Okay, cool. So say you got that you were lended a stock for ten dollars, but the stock went down, and it was a free stock that you got. So the stock went down, what to five dollars? You decide to buy it. Now over time, now you have two shares. Now over time, that stock went back up from five dollars to ten dollars. You don't sell yet, and then then it jumps up to twenty. Then you sell, which is a short. You could say. Now you sell both of those stocks. You give the lender back the stock that he gave you, but you made profit because you had two shares. You got one for ten which was free. You bought another one for 5. The stock went the stock went back up to 20. You sell them both. You made money. You're making a profit of like 15, 20 dollars or whatever. You know, just doing bait, you know, whatever ballpark math. And you just pay that lender back. It's the same thing in this case. The Lord gave you a talent. Free talent. You take it. You you quote unquote flip it. Or you do a short and you get the profit back and you pay him back by what? Your servitude. You you are a service to him and, that, and that's the purpose. Okay? It's the same thing in this case when you're trying to find a purpose in yourself, man. You have to invest in yourself and understand how to move as a man. If you're a man on this earth and don't understand your purpose, you are going to be stuck. Straight up. You don't know... You're going to be one of them Edomites, looking like one of them Edomites who are 45 years old, stuck in a uh, a one-bedroom apartment, single as hell, no kids, no, ad no ambition to do anything, and you stuck. Instead, you find your purpose now and, and just go after it, all right? And you build on the foundation that the Lord has already gave you, which was pre-wired hardwired in you from the jump because all men have a sp men I'm not saying man as in oikimini of everybody I'm saying men with testicles okay we have a code written inside of us, of us from the Lord that has our purpose wired in there we just got to put the blue wire with the blue wire and the green wire with the green wire and find it so it could be a catalyst to sparking oh that's what I'm here for it's even your role with inside the camp. I'm going to reread this. According to the grace of the Most High, which is given unto me as a wise master builder. It says, I have laid the foundation and another build it thereon. Let every man take heed how he build it there upon. So you have to take heed of how you build. Say you have an idea of your role, of your purpose. You have to take heed on how you build on top of that. Straight up. You see? I didn't want to make this lesson too long either. I just wanted to come with just, I guess, some insight for me from what I've been going through. You know what I'm saying? Understanding, really understanding sacrifice and, and gain and risk and reward. All this comes with finding your purpose. Okay? Even finding your purpose can be a risk and reward, sacrifice and gain uh, type of uh, uh, journey for you. You have to understand and accept both sides of the spectrum, you know, be somebody who, you know, you can be, find your purpose, be a man and everything else will come to you. You know, if you got, if you claim to have all this wisdom, what is the, what's the point of having all this wisdom and you're not doing nothing with it? You see what I'm saying? It's kind of just like, it's almost like the word vainglory. It's empty pride. It's like you got all this wisdom, but you ain't using it. It's like empty wisdom. Use what the Lord has given you.
The scriptures is your foundation and it's hardwired with inside of you. Just like it says in, uh, what's that, Romans? Pretty much a second or third chapter where it says, um, matter of fact, let me see if I can get it real quick. I want to say it's the second chapter. Romans 2 and like 13. Yeah, it says 4 and 14. Romans 2 and 14. Four, when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law. That's how you know they're pre-wired. They're hardwired to do according to the law. You see what I'm saying? Uh, these having not the law are a law unto themselves. I love bringing this out when I ever I mention the word inclination. The word inclination means a natural tendency. Again, it says do by nature. It means a natural tendency to do something. That's what inclination is. Right here, This the synopsis of that verse is the word inclination. So you have an inclination in you or you're, you're hardwired. You're pre pre made to have a purpose that the Lord has you know put inside of you. You got to find what that is and really embrace it and be the man that you that the Lord wired you to be. Got to find it, you know. So with that, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Double honors to the apostles and elders, of great millstone who rule and teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect, one forty four first fruit. Until the next time, Shalom.